I left a Clash Royale account inactive for over 100 days. And when I came back, something completely unexpected happened that ended up changing my account. And this is important because it could even happen to you. So here we are on my inactive account. We have a load of things to open up over here. Daily task. How do I even have these done? I haven't been on this account in so long. Banner box. Anything good? You got a 3,000 gold. Thank you, Clash Royale. Mass reward, seven of these. Now, as I went through and collected all of these masteries, I was completely unaware that one of the best special offers I've ever seen in Clash Royale history was almost on the verge of expiring before I could get to it. Anything else over here? What do we got? What do we got? Yo, what is this? Welcome back. Oh, we have three minutes left. Yo, we locked on it just in time. This was one of the three rarest chests in all of Clash Royale, and they contain almost double the rewards of a Legendary King's chest, which cost 2,500 gems in the shop. So this offer in itself was almost worth $50. Wow. Okay, so this is going to give us... 33 epics, 198 rares, 9,000 gold, and 1,000 cards. Let's just see what we get over here. This is a ton of value for free. Just for basically not playing the game and then coming back and playing the game again. 9,000 gold here. We get what? Four. Four legendaries? Yo, for free? That is insane. 69 <laughs> minions. 700 Electro Spirits. Okay, okay. 36 Hog Riders. What else do we have? 55 Battle Ranchers. Please give me Mega Knights or Sparkies. Oh, uh, this is what I use in my account. Let's do Collector and the Dark Prince. Oh, okay. So it basically just only gives you the legendary wild cards and no other legendaries in there, which honestly I'm okay with. So let's go ahead and strike the Dark Prince into what I want for the Dark Prince here. Poison's okay. Let's get rid of the Battle Ram in place of not that, that's for sure. <laughs> Must get to here. Uh, let's just, I want to go Fireball. Let me, give me some Fireball. Spells are always very important to focus on first, in my opinion, because they are more versatile across a wider variety of strategies. Wizard and the three musketeers so right there is what we just got in clash royale for free that is a ton of value boom there we go now this offer introduces two major questions we need to answer the first how much of an impact does a massive chest like this actually end up making on an account and number two how do you even get this offer? Well, let's try and answer both. So we started things off by collecting the remainder of our level up chests. And we ended up getting super lucky, unlocking another Mega Knight and another Electro Wizard, which ended up being super clutch to upgrading our main deck. Now let's see how much of an impact that actually made on my account's progress. Because as you can see, we're currently at 5,600 trophies, but we are under Arena 15 because we're only King level 29. So even though we have the trophies, we are King kept out of the arena so here is our deck here is our account and what can we do with those cards well first of all we can go in here with the electro wizard we can use those new wild cards we just got to max our electro wizard out goblin barrel infernal dragon tornado oh there we are level 30 king tower up and do we get our trophies what do we get here something happened king where'd you go where'd the king go he's hiding he's there somewhere that spell skeleton army Ah, the Mega Knight. There we go. Yes, Juicy Mega Knight. Level 13. Oh, we need six more. And look at that deck. Absolutely filthy. Oh, one more level up, which means one more chest. If we get, if we get two Mega Knights out of here, we should be able to max it out. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So my entire deck is now maxed out, but we are still being held back in trophies. Because as you can see, we should be over Arena 16, which begs the question, if I were to go on to a ladder battle, who do I match up against? Players in Arena 15 or players in Arena 16? And if I win, would I still gain trophies? And would my opponent even lose trophies? Let's find out by jumping into the arena. Goblin Bell over here, left side of the arena. Come on, Goblin Barrel. You are max level. I feel a bit dirty right now, but I can't help it. He's got level 13 Valkyrie, and he's got max level Goblin Gang as well, so we're not too overly leveled right now. I thought I would feel bad for being over leveled, but honestly, it appears that we are equally as leveled as our opponent. Wait, this guy's actually in the Arena 16 Executioner's Kitchen, but I'm not. And he's at 5,600, so what's the point of the King level requirement if I'm matching players that are still in this arena? If I win this battle, do I just not gain trophies then? Look at this Goblin's doing it. Look at this Goblin's go, dude. Look at this Goblin's go, that's insane. Go Electro Wizard, bop. Yeah, no damage for you, sir. No damage for you. Let's go Sparky over here, distracts the real ghost. We could have nailed it to the King Tower, but I don't really care because I just want to go Sparky time. 
So, and throw the thing over here left side. He can go anything for my Sparky. Nah, Sparky just destroys. We can go Mega Knight on this double defense here. Destroy the Valkyrie and the Dark Prince. Boom, baby. We should be able to set up for a massive counter push with a Goblin Barrel. And then when we win this game, what happens? Do I get trophies? Do I not get trophies? Does he lose trophies if I don't get trophies? Because I am not in the arena that he's in. He's at 5,600, which I'm around that trophy range, but I'm not in this arena. So what happens? I need to know. Where'd he go? He was over here left side. Let's just let, let's just win this game and find out. Sparky he left lane. Zap down the goblin gang. Boom, let's go. And we are flawless so far. Probably courtesy of the Mega Lightning chest we just got. He was goes in, destroys that down. Scrubby destroys the Royal Ghost. Still flawless on our tower damage. Mega Knight here for the Mega Knight. There we go, there we go. And I kind of want to go in for the three crown. If I go with Infernal Dragon here, he's gonna go with a, a Valkyrie. Yeah, we nail us in here. Keeps the Sparky alive. Actually, does not really achieve a whole lot, but the Sparky survives. Let's go Gun Build King Tower. Come on, let's go in for the three crown. Let's go in for the juicy three crown. Come on, Sparky. Come on, Mega Knight. Come on, Infernal Dragon. Yes. Oh my goodness, look at this. Go. Three crown victory. Now, what happens? Do I get trophies? Does he lose trophies? I got five. I got five trophies. What? They actually do gain trophies. Okay. That's weird. Now, he actually lost more trophies because he was at 5642, and now he's at 5614, which means he lost 28 trophies, but I only gained five. Let's see the rest of these rewards over here. Common cards, gold, wild cards. Uh, let's just go with the mirror, I suppose. I don't know. Gold again. Gems, thank you. I love gems. And we have five more epic cards. So I want to win one more game over here and see what happens again, because we already gained five trophies, and we took away 28 from our opponent, can we repeat that? And if we can, are we able to push all the way up to 7,500 without actually being the appropriate king level? There's so many questions that I have right now, and I need these answers. Let's just go in, win some games, and see what happens if I go in with my... Mega Knight. What you say? We don't get it down in time, but we do destroy his Mega Knight pretty easily. Boom. We also need to know what happens if we lose trophies. If we lose a battle, do we, do we lose trophies? Do we lose more than five? There's like a million and a half questions that I have right now, but I've got zero answers. Let's go Nadal here. Come on, into the into the Valkyrie. Boom. Mega Knight survive. Mega Knight survive. Sparky get one blast, please, my friend. Just one shot. Ah! Oh, if I would have zapped, it would have shot. One more skeleton army. Oh, yeah. He's got the free spell. I forgot about that, my dudes. Let's go Goblin Barrel here. Come on, Goblin Barrel. Come on, Skeletons. Tank for the Goblin Barrel. His arrows is at rotation, so he's going to go in with the archers. The Goblins will get some stabs off, though. They get some respectable. The Skeletons actually go in and get some stabs as well. We're going to go in with the Mega Knight in front of our Sparky. I expect him to use his Mega Knight on the Sparky. Then we nail the Wizard and his Mega Knight all together. And the Sparky should destroy. Come on, Sparky. Yes, destroy the Wizard. Let's go, baby. Come on, Mega Knight. Jump on that tower, my friend. You got one job here. Can you do it, please? Um, that's not what I asked you to do, my friend. Let's go deep. Goblin Bell, she misses his arrows. Please miss your arrows, my friend. Please miss your arrows. You know you want to. Oh, he does. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Infernal locks on. Goblins go down. He freezes the infernal, but he misses the goblins. Yo, okay. Well, we might lose our tower in this battle, so I'm going to go in the opposite lane with a Sparky. And I want to go in with a skeleton army on the right side for this goblin game. He's got no freeze in hand, so we can't freeze my Skarmy down. So he wasn't here for the uh, archers. But we can go in with the Mega Knight left side to apply dual lane aggression. Force him into defensive position so he can't even go on offense on our tower. And we're going to once again lead the Mega Knight into the wizard off to the side here. Yoink! And a... Oh, let's just go with the, the King Tower. Solid three crown victory against Pedro. How many more trophies do we get this time? Is it still five? Is it zero? It's five trophies! Okay! So it seems like it's five every time. So he was at 5,638, and now he is at 5,611. So he lost 27 trophies. So I continue to push in just to see what would happen. And some of the battles, we only ended up getting four trophies instead of five. And we also ended up getting a free legendary from a crown chest. Legendary card. Mega Knight, Mega Knight, Mega Knight, Mega Knight, Mega Knight. Oh, the miner. I'm okay with that. Miner's fine. Miner's fine. So I won a bunch of trophies, but I just did the math. And if we're only getting five trophies a battle to get to 7,500, it would take me over 350. 50 battles, which is almost 20 hours straight of grinding. So maybe we'll just put a pause in that idea for now. 
Now, to answer our two big questions, I think the impact on our account was honestly pretty good, especially with those four legendary wild cards helping us max out another legendary card. And since we are restricted by the king level, every upgrade is very important. And to answer question two, how do you unlock this offer? This is what I was able to find out. It seems that these welcome back offers for returning players have existed in some form or another for several years, but I've never actually seen any official information on how it works but i've seen it now on two of my clash real accounts one of them i never logged on for over 100 days and the other one was only 30 days but the actual rewards from the offer have changed over time and it seems right now you can either get a king's chest legendary king's chest or a mega lightning chest depending on which arena you're in and it appears that these rewards do scale if you push to a higher arena before redeeming it but the offer itself is temporary so you only have a couple of days to redeem it before it's gone so if it's been a while since you've been on Clash Royale, check your account out to see if you have a free offer. And if you do, leave a comment down below how long you were away and which chest you got. And if you're sad that you didn't get the offer because you're still playing Clash Royale, just remember the purpose of these offers is to bring back returning players, which if it works, it just gets more players into Clash Royale, which makes the game better overall for everyone. And in my opinion, I think that's pretty cool. But that is the video. Thank you for watching and have yourself a fantastic day. And if you want to see me start a brand new free to play account, check out this video.